Hi everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfill Automation. I'm so glad you could tune in this week to see our our final third episode on the Mirror Robot, how we're gonna program, how we I've been showing you the past couple weeks how we program a basic program. This week what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go ahead and edit the map, put some forbidden zones in there, put some walls in there, just kind of clean it up a little bit, then we're gonna create a couple of points that we want the robot to go to, and then we'll actually have it run a mission. That's what I'm gonna show you this week, so let's hop into it. All right, now that we've got everything made, we created the map last week, we also were able to tell the map where our robot is. Let's come in here and let's do a little bit of editing on the map. So as you can see, you can kind of scroll in and drag around. First thing I wanna do is I wanna create some walls so that we have some good walls. So you kind of come up here while we're in maps and you go to and click on walls. And I'm just gonna start outlining some walls here by using these dots right here. So I'm gonna draw a new line I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do a dot from there to there. And then I'm going to hit the finish current line. I'm going to continue to do that for some of these other walls that are around here. So let's go around and do that. And up here, these are kind of like glass walls. I'm gonna leave these and we're gonna turn that into a forbidden zone. But let's continue to finish these walls here. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some forbidden zones. That's basically where we do not want the robot to go. So I'm gonna kinda click on this down arrow here, I'm gonna click on forbidden zone. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move around. And I'm just gonna create a forbidden zone so I don't want it to go over here at all. So I'll just kinda do this, this, Save that. I'm gonna make, these are the cubicles here. I'm gonna make that a forbidden zone. So I'm gonna click on this again. Save that. Some of these, these are kind of the offices on the side here that are glass. I'm gonna make that a forbidden zone. And then we'll kind of just leave the rest of the area at that. That's the post in the middle there. I can make this a forbidden zone too. And just keep in mind a forbidden zone is really just an area that you do you don't ever want this robot to go into. So no matter what, it will not go into these zones that I'm creating here. So really, where this robot can go is just kind of in this area here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click Save Current Map. So we're done kind of editing it for now. Let's create some actual points and positions. So kind of click down here. I'm gonna click on Position. And we'll just do Position, just hit the P. Just double click and then we'll name this position one, just like that. And then let's move around here. Let's do another position over here. So I'll click on the P and then we'll just call this position two. Go ahead and hit okay. And then now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and we can create a program which is gonna be pretty cool. So let's go and we're gonna click on missions right here. The program mission is the same as a program. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
we're going to create a new mission. So go over here and hit plus the create plus create mission. And we'll just type this in as Brent Brent's oops, office loop. And we'll just kind of create that. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to put some logic in here. We're going to make this a loop so it's going to constantly be looping through it. So you come up to here at the logic, scroll down and click on loop, and now we've got a loop in there. Next what we want to do is we want to do a move. So go ahead and click on move, and you'll notice that it put it right down here outside of the loop. We can just click on this and hold the left button and drag it into there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to edit this. So click on the gear. And we want to change this to the Hartfield Office Map 1, or this one. We'll do Brent, Brent's Office Map 2, whatever you named it. I'm going to hit Validate and Close. So I'm going to move to Position 1. Then what I want to do is I want to do a, I want to do a, a logic where we just wait for a few minutes. So I'm going to click on Wait. I'm going to put that right, going to drag that into here. Right now it's set for five seconds. Let's change that to three seconds. Hit validate and close. Now instead of having to go back up there, I can also just kind of go ahead and hit this little copy button and see it, it just copied it and put it right below there. And then I can just drag this right there. And then I can change this by hitting the gear and I can do position two, just like that. Hit validate and close. And then I can do it, go ahead and hit copy for the weight. And then what I'll do is I'll move this down below there. And really now what it's going to do is it's going to go to position one, wait for three seconds, go to position two, wait for three seconds and continually loop. So let's go ahead and hit save. And then now what we can do is we can actually run this mission. So let's go back to maps. Okay, we're, we're active in this map. And then let's go ahead and let's go back to the missions. And let's do, let's run this mission, Brent, Brent Office Loop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this button. It will put it in the queue. Then I'm going to go up here and hit play. And now it's running. Let's go ahead and take a video. Or I'll show you what it's actually doing right now on the map. Just go to the edit mode. You can see the robot is actually moving from position one to position two. Now I'll go over here and actually show you what's going on. All right, you can see it's in position one right now. It's now starting to move to position two. I'm just kind of walking right behind it. I got to position two. It's going to stop. You see the lights change. It's going to wait for three seconds. And then it's going to turn around and head back to position. Well, that's all everyone. Thanks so much for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit how to create a basic program utilizing the mirror robots. Uh, it's really exciting how easy these are to program. I just, I'm always in awe of it. Obviously getting into applications, there's gonna be a lot of other stuff that we're gonna wanna discuss and add into the programming, but you kind of get the gist of it through these videos and these tutorials that we've been doing. All right, if you like these videos or anything similar to these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of other great content on my channel here related to the automation products that we carry. And uh, I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe. Bye.